Small wooden boats. What does that have to do with science? Today I'm going to take you on a trip up into the Arctic Ocean. I will tell you about the Float Your Boat project and what we did with over 400 wooden boats north of Svalbard. This is the Arctic Ocean. It is covered with sea ice all year long. The ice is constantly moving as a result of wind and ocean currents. For centuries people have been finding driftwood from Siberia on the shores of Svalbard, Iceland and Greenland. This inspired the early explorers to study transpolar drift across the Arctic Ocean. Hello and uh, welcome to the helicopter hangar of the uh, Norwegian Coast Guard vessel KV Svalbard. Uh, we are here with uh, three boats were made from uh, kids in Seattle and in uh, Norway in Gjestdal and uh, we're going to uh, to release them on two different locations so half of them uh, uh, from uh, Seattle and half from Norway in one place and also another place so that we can uh, look at the ice drift and uh, see where they will end up and this uh, you can also follow on the internet to, to look at where they're at. And uh, to make sure that uh, everyone can, uh, who finds these boats can uh, know where to read about the project, we are marking them. So that it's uh, easy to go to the web page and, uh, and read about it. At this point, we were transporting the boats from KV Svalbard and onto the ice. We had to watch out for polar bears and at all times we had a polar bear guard nearby. Now we have uh, deployed the first uh, sets of boats. The fleet. The fleet is ready to, to go and we, it will be exciting to see where it ends up because of this uh, OES boy. So uh, we'll send to the satellites the position of where this uh, big ice flow is and when the boats get uh, maybe into the big ocean we have no idea where it will end, will end up. So we have, we have to uh, look at the float boat uh, website. The ice boys and wooden boats have been drifting a lot the last couple of months. We can follow them until the ice flow melts. After that we'll have to wait for someone to find them on shore somewhere on earth. We believe that climate change makes the sea ice thinner and more fragile, which makes it drift faster. By comparing this project to similar projects in the past, we can find out if this is true. In this illustration, you can see how the wooden boats are moving every day. The blue dots illustrate the boats. We can see that after deployment, they drifted towards the northwest. Our goal is to have a close collaboration with the school children participating in the project. We want to find out what this research tells us about climate change. If you want to follow the project further, please visit our webpage.